every day. Golf Cart Garage gets calls and emails just like this one. Someone using the screen name Big Daddy Club Car. That leaves me with some questions of my own. Wrote in to ask, hey Dave, what's the best way to replace my seats? Should I recover them with new vinyl or replace them? So it's time for Ask Dave right now on GCG TV. Hey, welcome back to the Golf Cart Garage. Today we're taking a look at installing new golf cart seat covers with some general rules that can apply to all golf carts. Maybe your seats have taken some abuse from the weather or old age, or maybe a disturbed young lady carved her name into them after you cheated on her in a country song. I don't know, I just work here. But what I do know is that the ideal first step to take is to remove the existing cushions from the cart to see what's needed before ordering replacements. Some golf carts have backrests with permanently affixed plastic backing that's been glued into place, which can make it nearly impossible to recover them with new vinyl. And in the case of very old seats, like the ones we're working on today, sometimes the bottom cushion's wood backing can be rotted to the point of no return. In these cases, we usually install a new full cushion or backrest assembly to save some headache with an install that will last. So today, we'll be replacing our bottom cushion, but recovering the backrest, just to show how it's done. The good news is that replacing the vinyl on the backrest or on the bottom cushion are very similar procedures. Whether you're replacing or recovering both pieces or mixing and matching, it's best to get both items from the same manufacturer to ensure a good match on color and stippling pattern. Depending on the condition of your vehicle or cushion, you might also remove the existing vinyl, especially if it's been recovered in the past with some folds and wrinkles like ours. We decided to cover right over the existing vinyl just to see what results we'd get. Another good tip is to have the right tools ready. We needed a T25 Torx bit to remove the plastic backing from this EasyGo cushion. And while a hand stapler will work, it's a much easier project if you have a pneumatic or battery powered stapler to quickly attach vinyl being stretched into place. We also made sure to have pliers for staple removal, a utility knife for cutting away excess vinyl, and a heat gun to help stretch the new vinyl into place. Apart from that, upholstering is one of the original industrial arts and there's definitely some craft to it. This is sort of a tedious process that can require some trial and error, but it boils down to setting the old cushion into the new vinyl, making sure to get it evenly placed both vertically and horizontally. Also make sure to orient the cover properly to account for a curve in the top like we have on this backrest. The best method we've found is to place anchor points on all four sides to be removed later and keep flipping the seat over throughout the process to make sure the cover is still sitting evenly on the front. And we recommend starting the stapling with the curved parts as those can be the most difficult to get done without leaving wrinkles or folds in the material. After that, staple down the straight lines and corners. You may have to remove some staples along the way to re-stretch folds or wrinkles out and try it again to get nice and smooth, especially if you're dealing with a cushion that's already been recovered in the past like ours. It can require some hand strength, some patience, and concentration so you don't staple your hand or sleeve to the cushion. Kind of like Clark Griswold hanging Christmas lights on that ladder. Once you've got a section or the entire cover stretched into place and stapled with everything smoothed out, it's time to cut away that excess vinyl and reaffix the plastic backing before installing the backrest to the vehicle. Recovering cushions with new vinyl can be a great way to save a few bucks. It's best to consider the condition of your cushions, your own personal skill for a project like this, and the tools you have on hand before deciding if you should replace the assembly or recover it with new vinyl. But if you need help deciding what to order, diagnosing a vehicle issue, installation, questions, or anything else, just get in touch. Stop by golfcartgarage.com or give us a call at 
401-201-2934 so we can help show you around the garage. And while you're here, give us a like and subscribe for more episodes. Thanks for watching GCGTV.